save your mother. I won't kill you if you live. Why would you stow away to such a hellish place? To find what was stolen from me. And what is that? A kingdom. You must choose between kindness for your kin or hate for your enemies. About 10 years ago, I, I teamed up with Lars Knudsen, Danish-born, uh, US-based producer, um, who uh, shared my dream of one day making a, a Viking film. Uh, and for a couple of years, we, 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 we tried to figure out, we knew the tone we wanted, we knew we wanted it to be um, a big, epic adventure film but based on uh, the Icelandic sagas, the Edda poetry. Um, we wanted to, to capture the essence uh, of those stories, um, the, the laconic, dry language, the, um, the harshness of that world. My wife, uh, like myself, is interested in uh, you know medieval and early modern literature, and she said, you know, you would like the Icelandic sagas, but I didn't care. <laughs> uh, um, and then we went to Iceland, and the landscapes, no surprise, were completely inspiring. I mean, there you, you're just awestruck by the, the 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 power and this like prehistorical epicness. Uh, and so then I picked up the sagas, and then. And, and, and started thinking, okay, maybe there's a, a Viking movie in, in me some, somewhere. And then a couple of years later, I had lunch with Alexander Skarsgård. And Alex has been into Vikings since he was a little kid. Uh, and, you know, he told me that he was trying to make a Viking movie for 10 years with my friend Lars Knudsen, who produced my first movie, The Witch. And I was floored that I didn't know about it. And then uh, we got cracking. <laughs> I don't quite know what it says about me, but I feel immensely comfortable being buffeted by the winds or being absolutely freezing and wearing no shoes, especially if it's with Rob. I just feel very at home. Um, I think it's probably because he is the person that trained me to do this job. I had no acting experience, I just did The Witch. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's wonderful to be able to just exist when you arrive someplace and I think when I first read the script, that was something that really excited me about it. I knew that there would be very little green screen and we would be doing all of this for real. And that was something that I was really excited to take on. It's tremendously helpful as an actor when you step onto a Robert Eggers set because you're wearing exactly what that character would have been wearing a thousand years ago. The, 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 the village, the farm is built by people Viking experts who know exactly how a farm would have been built a thousand years ago. And there are no facades, everything is real. So you can walk around at 360 and you can feel it, you can smell it, everything um, is so incredibly authentic. So uh, half my job was already done for me when I got to set, because I just had to step into those authentic Viking shoes. <laughs> I love all these details and, and, and the verisimilitude of, of, of recreating a physical world from the past. But when you're shooting single camera, you're, the, the lens is, always needs to be focused on the story. So all that other stuff is an accumulation of details that creates an atmosphere, but it's also, like, it's all there, but it's also somewhat in the periphery. There's no, like, let's cut to the interesting looking hunting dogs and indulge in that for a moment. Like, they're there, but we're, moving forward you know and i don't know how many times the camera department would say like never shot a movie like this like this but it's cool you know and 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 everyone was excited by the challenge with rob i know him so well that i'm i'm pretty on the you know i kind of hit the nail on the head in terms of i'm like okay he's gonna want this 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 and this but i find it very um exhilarating to have marks to hit and very specific boundaries because it allows you to play 
in a way that's more interesting because you don't have all of this space. You have, you know, something quite concrete. And uh, I think one of the things that I definitely got from Rob is that I don't enjoy kid gloves. I don't enjoy people being like, that was great. But um, I'm like, what was it too much to the left? Was it too much to the right? Do I need to tone down this emotion? Do I need to blah, 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 blah? Great, let's go. Like, let's get this done. Um, and that was just really fun to do. We had to be very well prepared and spent months choreographing the scenes, working with the stunt coordinator and his team in, in, in figuring out not only how we would move, but how the camera would move with us. So we would, by the time we got to set, that would be just second nature. And we would have done it so many times that we could do that in our sleep. Um, and then um, our job in front of cameras always to, in that very specific setting, um, instill some life into it as well. So um, once we got to set, hopefully on a good day, all that technical, t all the technicalities were were done and we had figured that out so we could focus more on the emotional journey of the characters on set. It was so much bigger than anything that me and my collaborators have ever done. I'm working with the same heads of department um, as I always have. And, and Jaron Blaschke, my DOP, you know, we, you know, he sh shares a, a, a large part of the authorial voice in uh, the, the cinematic language of, of this film. And we, and because we're always after a level of craft that is beyond uh, our skill level and experience level, this was just, I mean, it was insane. To, it was insane. So the level of planning that went into being able to even attempt to carry this off was wild with hundreds of extras and stuntmen and horses and, you know, goats, chickens, <laughs> geese, pigs, children, all in the same incredibly long shot. It's kind of like, you know, plan, 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 execute. I am Amleth the Bad Wolf, son of King Aurvand and War Raven, and I am his virgin! Giving Robert a, a massive platform, a massive canvas, a canvas, an opportunity for him um, to go crazy and 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 really with that attention to detail, with that historical accuracy, um, paint it, paint a massive picture was 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 really thrilling um, to be a part of. It really makes you understand how difficult life was. You know, because there is no protection from the elements and you're not pretending to be cold. Like, this wouldn't have worked if we were on a studio in Burbank, you know, sipping mocktails on the side. Like, it just, that's not how this film was supposed to go. But on the other hand, I really enjoy being in a position where I feel like I can lift other people up by refusing to be swayed by whatever's going on. So, you know, you have two options. You can either jump into the ocean and scream that it's cold and complain about it, or you can jump in and go, aren't we lucky? Isn't this amazing? Isn't this a one-of-a-kind experience? And we're doing all of this after we've been locked up for months, and we get to do this as a job. Like, let's have fun with it. Um, and so, yeah, I, I was ecstatic pretty much every single day. He's here. He's here. Well, if you shoot in Northern Ireland in uh, the fall and winter, you can be pretty confident that you're going to have bad weather, uh, which we had. But I think, you know, uh, that the, 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 the fire, the mud, the rain, um, the ice becomes, you know, yet more details that are part of this accumulative pileup that creates atmosphere. But also, again, like when I went to Iceland and saw the, this like epical otherworldly landscape and to think that people sailed here and didn't just die was in, in, incredible. And I wanted to capture that feeling uh, in, in this film. 